On to our next topic. In major banks may be about to unload thousands of foreclosed homes onto the already depressed housing market. Real estate experts say this could trigger a double dip in housing, and that would be a good thing for our next guest. Peter Zalewski from condovultures.com, live with us from Miami. I, I'm sorry about the sound effects, Peter, That's and also for the judge's raucous effect. laughter right The judge's here. laugh is a but, sound effect. Yeah. Uh, look, I'm saying that this is the year of the vulture, because, I mean, in all seriousness, because if you get prices going down again, the bargains, the deals will be extraordinary, and that is going to be good for your business. Has your business picked up already, Peter? Uh, the, the business has been tremendous. 2010, for instance, in South Florida, there were more transactions in 2010 than there were in the last year of the boom, which was 06. So business is basically going through the roof right now. The problem we're having is everybody's moving in and the banks are holding back this product, so we can't really take as much as we'd like to. So you want them to unload these, prof these uh, products, these houses, condos, onto the market, so prices come down some more, and you've got supply that you can sell. But I want to know what kind of price discounts uh, are, are being put into effect here, compared to, say, the high of early 2007. Uh, what you'll find is about a 41% discount on single-family houses and about a 44% discount on condominiums, based on 2010, comparing it back to 2006. Are these cash deals that you're doing? Uh, generally speaking, uh, the market is being driven by all cash. Uh, we, we did a study, we looked at resales, and what we found on the resale side, it's about a 52-48% advantage to cash. If it's new construction, some of these big towers that were built, it's about 89% cash and about 11% financing. Uh, when it comes to individual purchases, are they foreigners or domestic Americans? Uh, for the most part, it's going to be the foreigners who are driving this market. There is some concern that the U.S. dollar, as it starts to strengthen, is going to create some sort of downturn for Canadian buyers or Latin American buyers. You're seeing these groups move in and just basically try to take as much as they can. Again, we did about 75,000 sales in South Florida, not our organization, but just in general. Uh, in 2010, back in 06, there were, there were roughly about 68,000 done. So, you know, it's a big change in the marketplace. Wow. So, Peter, it's Tracy Burns. Did you feel the foreclosure moratorium at all? Did that affect business at all? You know, you know, really what the foreclosure moratorium has done is, is scared people away from buying a bank-owned property and pushed them into short sales. We saw in 2010, we're releasing a report today, uh, short sales in 2010 are up 49% compared to the year prior, wow. where if you look at uh, bank-owned properties, they're down about roughly 9% compared to uh, 2009. Well, I've called it the year of the vulture. You are the vulture in the condo <laughs> business in South Florida. There's the sound effects. Peter Zalewski, a pleasure. Thanks for joining us. So We appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank